I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss with All You Want to Know. Top of the news, a new champion in the war against crime. President Goodman today announced formation of the Anti-Crime Network, an elite force of private law enforcement operatives to be headed by millionaire industrialist and political heavyweight Christopher Stern. With funding from government, business, and the midweek lottery, the ACN promises a billion dollar crackdown on organized crime and safer streets for you and me. In other news, Governor Hernandez apologizes for global warming, promising a statewide hot air initiative. How he plans to achieve his targets... It's official. Privatized is best. Following last year's armed forces sell-off and the financial success of the Mideast War, the ACN is extending its crime-fighting capability with private contractors specially trained to hunt down wanted felons. ACN chief Christopher Stern said the new headhunters will be Layla certified and fully insured, promising to deliver more bang for your buck. Meanwhile, more power to the elbow of concerned parents with new laws prohibiting all public displays of human or animal violence. You know, Bill, my dog just hates violence. We could learn a lot from dumb animals, Kate. Next up, movie madness in Muskoka. Every school kid knows the value of life, Kate. But how about a life of crime? From today, all wanted felons are to have bail bonds set by government, with values listed on the criminal exchange. More crimes and worse crimes see the bail figure rise. Rehab sees it fall. Successful headhunters receive 10% of the bail, the rest going to meet ACN costs. Felons unable to meet bail face compulsory organ donation. Kate? Recycling is the order of the day. Now crime fighters have got the message with new organ-friendly weapons set to replace old-fashioned firearms. Superior to conventional weapons in range and accuracy, the electric neural projectile, or EMP gun, attack the target's nervous system, causing severe pain and eventual brain death without damaging much-needed internal organs safeguarding supplies for hard-working citizens and their families. From today, possession of conventional firearms is illegal. Well, that's great, Bill. Those old guns were really nasty. And in tonight's lifestyle feature, we ask synthetic versus natural implants. When it comes to organs, can you beat the real thing? Latest figures show the CCS criminal control system has been a big success since the government licensed the technology from the Biotech Corporation. The CCS subcranial biochip implant uses neural redirection to suppress criminal urges and dampen aggression. Future models could include thought monitoring and reconstruction, limiting the subject's freedom to think and act. Sounds great to you and me, but one person not so happy is mysterious recluse Don Fulci. The suspected crime lord interrupted last night's lottery draw with an illegal broadcast in which he denounced the ACN's crime-fighting initiatives. I believe these measures threaten our great democracy. Christopher Stern is a dictator, and the ACN is private army. As a businessman and concerned citizen, I will do everything in my power to stop them. With bail bonds rising, every child knows crime pays. But little Jimmy Brown of Orange County coined a cool two million credits by informing on his dad and his uncle, both wanted felons. Nationwide, informants contributed to another record low in crime figures, with many felons turning in criminal associates. Well, it just goes to show no one's all bad, Bill. Meanwhile, ACN Chief Christopher Stern today appointed protege and former assistant Alan Sharp agency vice president. Known as a hardliner, Sharp championed the three strikes and your organs are out penalty for repeat offenders and promises more of the same. In breaking news, a leading citizen is murdered at his desk. Full victim profile and safety at work feature in our next bulletin.
For now, I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss. And that's all you need to know. Hey there, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Headhunter. No, you guys did not just tune into some weird broadcast, and no, I did not accidentally upload the wrong video. That is seriously the opening to the game. <laughs> anyway, this is a Let's Play that I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. I actually did do a run of this game on my old channel before I got a microphone. I just played, you know, through the game without commentary, obviously. And, well, here I am, like, five years later, doing a Let's Play of it. Headhunter is probably one of my favorite action games on the, on the PlayStation 2. It probably has one of the coolest stories and one of the best soundtracks ever in an action game. And it's, it's looping back to that because I was talking! <laughs> but, yeah, Headhunter is a really good game. If I had to describe it, it it's kind of... Gameplay-wise, it's kind of like Metal Gear Solid, so you could say that it's kind of like Metal Gear Solid, but with the story and the atmosphere of, like, a Hollywood movie or something. That's pretty much the best way to describe Headhunter. And I'll go ahead and play the training mission. Why not? <laughs> Welcome to Layla. Headhunter techniques for new recruits. Basic crime fighting proficiency training. Prepare for virtual reality simulation. Oh, I'm prepared. So yeah, you guys can already see right off the bat that this is very Metal Gear Solid-like. Yeah, teaching how to shoot. Hold R1. Shoot with X. Easy peasy. Yep. I will say, this game also has a sequel called Headhunter Redemption, and a lot of people don't like that game. <laughs> a lot of people didn't find it as good as the first game, and, you know, in some... Re like, you know, in some... To some extent, I actually will agree with them. I don't think its story is quite as good, and the soundtrack isn't quite on par with the first games either, though they did improve... I think they did improve the controls and the gameplay some. Not that, not that this game controls badly, but it is pretty aged. It's a little bit clunky until you get used to it. Not majorly so, though. I wouldn't say it's a detriment to the game, really. But yeah, if you're really used to, like, modern control schemes and stuff, then it might take you some time to get used to playing this game. Or maybe not. Who knows? All I know is that, uh, program just got owned. Oh, come on. Not fair. Hey, not fair. Not fair at all. Yeah, you turn around. Okay, I guess I just have to sneak out of here and, like, yeah, leave without getting caught. And I did it. And that was... that was the entire training. Neural resonance 120 and rising. We have core activity. Increase to 500 megahertz. Subject is conscious. Security, hit the alarm. We have a situation. Ah! Subject is dangerous. 
Close all exits. And now we gotta make our escape from the lab. Yeah, the game just kind of jumps right into this, but it'll make sense in due time. This is not part of the training, by the way. Well, I just said the training was over, but yeah. If we had skipped training, it would have gone straight to the cutscene you just saw. So this is the actual beginning of the game. Now you might notice that our health in the bottom right is actually slowly dropping. That's because this gas that's pouring out of the walls is poisoning us. So you're kind of timed on this, but it's not hard at all. In fact, I think the exit is like right here. Please, I... I can't remember. Patient's name is Jack Wade. Found unconscious in the parking lot of an industrial park a week ago. In and out of metabolic coma the past three days. Gunshot trauma to the leg. Evidence of some advanced surgery. Surgery? What surgery? And apparent retrograde amnesia. Suggested therapy controlled neural rehab. Mental stimulation. A daughter and a nation say farewell. Christopher Stern, founder and father figure of the ACN, was buried today in Arlington National Cemetery. Among the mourners, distraught Angela Stern was comforted by Alan Sharp, recently elected ACN vice president and Stern's chosen successor. Christopher Stern was far more than a boss to me, and I'm honored to build on the foundations he laid. Decades of criminality have been reversed. Organized crime is in retreat, but we can do much more. Closer cooperation between the ACN and biotech will allow ever greater control over criminals, suspects, and those thinking criminal thoughts. The war is, 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 is only just beginning. Meanwhile, debate still rages over who was responsible for Stern's assassination, many pointing the finger at self-styled Don Emilio Fulci. Thought to have links with a criminal syndicate, little is known about Fulci, never seen in public, his appearance remains shrouded in mystery. An ACM raid on offices of one of Fulci's business interests revealed no trace of the elusive criminal magnet. Kate? Thanks, Bill. In other news, psychotic gangster Esteban Ramirez rose three points on the criminal exchange, hitting a career-high 1750. Mass murderer John Lindsay continued his slide down five to 1700. No change at the top of the Headhunter League, however. Hank Redwood bringing in three most wanted for his fifth successive number one ranking. Redwood's had his critics, but it seems there's no question now that he's second best. You, you were the best, Wade. 
Do I know you? Maybe this will jog your memory. Smith & Easton Stimulator, ENP Automatic. Clip size? 10 rounds. Muzzle velocity? 850. Payload? Combined neurostimulants and motor cortex scrambler, producing incapacity and eventual brain death. <laughs> like riding a bike. I'm Chief Frank Hawk, and you, Wade, were my number one headhunter. Eight years, top of the league for six. More captures than the rest of them put together. I'm a regular hero. And now you're fired for life. Sorry, Wade, but it's orders. They don't even tell me why. Times are changing. Maybe if we knew what happened to you... You're asking the wrong guy. That's too bad. You could go independent. You'd have to pass the Layla test, but you'd get a weapon and a VM. Wouldn't give access to classified files, but it'd be a start. Back to school, huh? With an ENP gun in your hand, it could be worse. Contact me when you got your Layla license. I'll help any way I can. Word of warning. You've woken up with quite a few enemies. I wouldn't trust anyone you don't know. And right now, you don't know anyone. Jack Wade? Stern? Angela Stern? You know my name. I watch TV. Christopher Stern's daughter. I saw your father's funeral. I'm sorry. So am I. I want you to help me, Mr. Wade. I want you to find the man who killed my father. I want Don Fulci to be sorry, too. How do you know it was Don Fulci? He hated my father and everything he stood for. Call it a hunch. Why don't you tell it to the ACM? They want to see him behind bars. I want to see him dead. I'm not an executioner. You don't know what you are. Retrograde amnesia, remember? Outside of the killer, you were the last person to see my father alive. His diary shows you had a meeting with him. You were working together on some kind of secret project. Find my father's killer, and maybe you'll find out what happened to you. I'll think about it. Don't think too long. I'd say medical expenses are running at a kidney donation already. You can spend the rest of your life hunting lowlifes, or crack the case of the decade for a handsome fee. How handsome? Two million on delivery of Fulci. What about in advance? My assets are frozen until my father's case is closed. You'll have to trust me. I heard that before. Just remembered. That's a good sign. Get well soon, Jack. And when you do, come pay me a visit. Some place you have here. I grew up in this house. It seemed real big and exciting then, but now... I'll get us an X-must. Take a look around. Maybe some of Daddy's ACN stuff could help jog your memory. Well, that was a long set of cutscenes. So yeah, we pretty much got to do exactly what she said. We got to wander around this place and look at some stuff. Top scientist, a refugee from communist times. He developed the criminal control system. Without it, the ACN might have lost its war against crime. Daddy was worried about some of the Big Brother stuff biotech is developing, but Alan's gung ho. My father's Layla certificate. He insisted on taking the same tests as his men. Layla tests let headhunters upgrade their license so they can get bigger cases and better equipment. 
You're gonna need to get a license before you start after Don Fulci. Yep, so we're gonna need to be taking some of those tests. My graduation diploma from MIT. Truth is, I only went there to prove a point to my father. Do something useful, maybe join the ACN one day. Boy stuff. Then I found out I had a talent for it. Computers, technology, so much for all those ballet classes. An agent's handbook. The ACN Bible. It's history, philosophy, codes of practice. My father wrote every word. There's background on the standard weapon types, too. May want to refresh your memory next time you lay hands on an ENP gun. I'm sure we can handle it. My father and the president were at Harvard together. After the military, Daddy went into industry, used his money to finance the president's election. The new penal code, privatized law enforcement, the ACN, it's all stuff they dreamed up when they were students. Very interesting. Clearly not jogging, jogging any memories just yet. What else is it that I need to check? Pick up an adrenaline. Those give us temporary health boosts. And nothing there. Can't go in there just yet. I probably missed an item in here somewhere. Either that or I need to talk to a... I almost called her Elena. Oh, hello. Didn't check this. Daddy and Alan Sharp. Alan was from the wrong side of the tracks. Daddy took him under his wing, paid his tuition, put him through college, fast-tracked him into the ACN, called him the son he never had. When you're a kid, hearing that kind of hurts. Later, Alan and me were an item for about five minutes. Here, key card to the elevator. Use it to get in and out through the garage. Feel free to drop by any time. Mikasa Sukasa. Alrighty. I think this would be a good spot to end this first episode, so see you on the next one, guys.